<laughs> oh! Fuck! The first thing a soldier must learn is obedience. Apparently, Michael behind the camera has just said, I have a red nose, like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Disgusting bastard. <laughs> well, never mind. And hey, welcome to our latest episode of Hex Presents. But the reason my nose is a little red is because it's freezing cold in here. Now, what you can't see, right, as I look kind of normal, handsome and, and rugged and, you know, well, suitably well penised, is that Michael Brewster, my ostensible cousin behind the camera, is like, you know, Scott of the Antarctic. He's like dressed in 700 parkas and, you know, covered himself in marshmallow-like coats and, well, he's got, yeah, exactly. Fuck you, Michael. Ah. Ah. Oh, and I know, you watching this right now are like, ah, well, what about the film? You know, well, fuck you, this is on my time, not your time. Oh, you can go watch Red Letter Media instead. Yeah, there you go, two, half in the back, well, fuck you. Ah. Okay, I actually quite like Red Letter Media, I think it's quite funny. Yeah, it's better than this channel, you should check it out. But since you're here, since you're here, um, I have a wonderful treat for you in store. This is a film that I thought had been destroyed, burned, uh, eliminated from the record of civilization, and probably should be. So, you may have seen before, in fact, I'm sure you have, a short film called Rostov, which is on our, our playlist for Hex Presents in which I did a kind of improvised experimental short film with a group of students who one by one would succumb to horrifying fates and it was basically a horror short film. But, <laughs> this was a, that was a more sophisticated version of something that I had in fact made very early on. Um, long before I would even have described myself as a filmmaker, you know, when this was just a hobby. This is, this is from the ancient records. This, this, this is a, a film that was retrieved from a Sumerian tablet, you know. This is a feature length, kind of improvised, directed, uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe this. We have a guy, right, who has these psychic powers, who is uh, originally a soldier that is arrested and then tested in a research facility and then eventually tortured in a Russian KGB prison on account of his um, lack of cooperation to explain his psychic powers. Yeah, yeah, and if that sounds like it doesn't make sense, that is the best explanation you're going to get and is far superior than any explanation in what you're about to see in this film, which is feature-length monstrosity of hilarious, cringe-worthy, improvised uh, scenes. Um, some highlights consist of my friend, uh, Roy Rennie, who has a, a, a very powerful delivery of the line, I raped your sister. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which has to be seen to be believed. This is uh, the closest that um, I will ever come to having, <laughs> this is the closest I will ever come to making a film like The Room, I hope, Jesus Christ I hope, and is, is filled with, with much, much gold. There are scenes of torture in which I, as, as an acting student, a young acting student, throw plastic cups of toothpaste water into the eyes of political prisoners of Russia <laughs> as supposed acid. <laughs> there are outrageous punch and kick sound effects for prisoners being tortured, things like <laughs> things like that. Um, but don't worry, those scenes of hilarity and ridiculous violence are perpetuated uh, with scenes of long rambling improvisation, <laughs> which uh, also includes subtitling because of the very poor sound quality. And you might wonder why the hell um, I'm including this. But this film features um, some of my collaborators, friends and folks that have all had an important part of my life as a filmmaker. And it, 
is just a humble example of the beginning. And the beginning that many of you can relate to, especially if you are filmmakers. If you've seen my latest films like, well, Dragon Knight or The Devil's Machine, The Black Gloves, The Unkindness of Ravens, Lord of Tears, and even short films like that played at Sundance in front of Robert Redford, like Morgan M. Morganson or South by Southwest, um, and Stuff for Charity, all, all these things that I have accomplished. They all began with outrageous, cringeworthy, campus Christmas, unbelievably pretentious and pompous monstrosities like this. Um, and, you, you know, if you don't watch it, skip through it and you'll find funny bits, ridiculous bits. And I hope it inspires and or brings back some affectionate memories for those of you who are more experienced filmmakers what it was like making things right at the start when you were just experimenting and having fun. So, whilst Whiteout is kind of my, is my first feature film, um, an actual fact, now that it has been unearthed from the archives, well, this, this, this thing is technically my first feature. Oh, this, this aberration. Well, uh, enjoy. We fought for the future, destroyed the invader, and brought to our homeland the laurels of fame. A glory will live in the memory of nations, and all generations will honor her name. Long live our Soviet motherland, built by the mighty hand. Long live her people, united and free, strong in a friendship tried by fire. Long may our crimson flag inspire, shining in glory for all men to see. For all of you, your orders, you will learn why there has been a little mystery attached to this mission. I hope you're getting all this, Corporal. Two pictorial record of our findings that an explosion was heard. That's all. Come with me. Okay, follow me, man. Okay. 
Now you must have a better explanation than that. I, what happened? I, I don't know. I, everything went black and then I woke up. And they're all lying there. Okay, we best keep moving. Well, I have our orders. We were walking and it was cold and, and I don't know. So how far from the boat? That such persons are to be neutralised in whatever manner deemed appropriate for fear of spreading the contamination to nearby population centres. Sorry, Natasha, you have the orders. What did you come across? For the contamination. Contamination? What? Well, shut her then! Can't allow that. We will take her with us so we can be sure. Sergeant, I don't like this order any more than you do. But we have that. I'm sorry. Oh, please, her. Please don't. We don't even know if she's infected. She did survive. The others didn't. There must be a reason. Surely she could be a lot more used to us lying. There does seem to be more to this than we are. Thank you. Well, Corporal, what about you? Here. Um, sorry, 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 I can't. She comes with us. Till we find out more. I'll make a decision then, later. And when that decision is made, finally, you will follow those orders. Or you'll be reported to the MKBD yourselves. And trust me, they're a lot less forgiving than I am. Sergeant? Yes. You're not talking to some little Polish girl, you understand. You don't have that kind of apologetic behaviour in my regard. I'll have your ass kicked back down to private before you know it. Be clear. Very good. Little blind, even with their glasses, eh? Illustrator K2 reconnaissance plane. Oh, I've got good eyes, Sergeant. Rest assured of that. The gaff. Bring her with us, right? What the hell do you think you're going to do? She's your responsibility. Keep a close eye on her. Oh, oh, oh. giving away the new lady friend already, Simon. <laughs> Immediately, we have to send scouts to get a look at because these maps are worth shit. Find it here when we tap down, yeah? Should leave the camera here with you, sir. Thank you, sir. It wouldn't be a very good reconnaissance report, would it now, if we didn't record what we found possible? Yes, sir. We'll have a little chat. Believe you. Like you're lying. 
Natasha? I can't remember. It's all a blur. <laughs> How poetic. A blur. Does that mean you, Private? It means he's me. Sir, if you're going to interrogate the girl, should it not be recorded? That's why the corporal's here, is it not? Corporal has his own problems, I'm sure. Sure he does. No! Let me go, please! No! This would be a mistake. No! Don't let me do this to me! Get away from me! What use am I to you? Natasha, you find yourself at the wrong place at the wrong time. Like no other could possibly imagine. Stop. I'll start off ahead. Okay. Right there. Between the trees. You see it? It's a column of smoke. A better report. Come on, let's go. Well, welcome back. There's a ghost right there ahead, there seems to be a pillar of smoke coming from somewhere. Could it be a village? The refinery? Could be, sir. You didn't find it? Yeah, report to you, Clarkson. Well, you report to me, a column of smoke. What use is that to me? Well, it's your choice, you're the superior officer. Yes, I am a superior officer, that's quite right. Corporal, do you have anything to add to this meagre report? Eh, uh, no, sir. I take it you filmed this column of smoke, Corporal? Eh, uh, no, sir. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, Sergeant. So you're somewhat lacking in these pictorial reports. Can't quite see your career evolving into intelligence, can you? Didn't wish it to, sir. No, of course not. Is there a mud hole in? Oh, I'm glad to be like it. No honour than that, sir. Honour? Is that honour or Red Army honour, Sergeant? Get that thing out of my face. Oh, that's incredible. That's a joke. Private, can laugh. You're a little strange to you. <laughs> Superstitious head, very proud. I'm going to just keep up stickers so I don't like it. I'm just going to say usually when. Um... I didn't just stop. What's that? I need to stop for five minutes. Do you know? Do you understand? This is a mission the Red Army. You don't stop for little girls like you. We have something important to do. Go on. I just want to hear you. Okay. Well, what? <laughs> well, here's your choices, Natasha. You walk, or you get. Will you pay, please? Hurry up! Get down here, guys! No! Get down! Drive me! Go! 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 Good God, what's going on? Sergeant, check and pay their weapons. Good thing, man. Good thing, sir. I think we might find himself a new friend in the country. I'm 
man, what are you thinking? Right, so there's something wrong here. Contamination, this is now waiting for We continue? We have to. Yes. We have to. Sergei Schipstein, would you mind walking behind me? Thank you. Private! What? <laughs> Stand back! <laughs> Not you, sir. No. That's pathetic as that's the scene. You need to know how to operate a glass of one, do you? Huh? Oh, Corpo, chin up. Sir, um, I uh, request somebody else to take the camera. I'm not. Why? Um, I feel oh, strange and I'm. Um, Come on, Private, here's a chance for you to redeem yourself. You'll be safer with a camera than a gun. Well? Huh? That's a cheeky. Huh? 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 Are you okay, Private? I'll be fine. Ah! 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 Best one. Stop it! Just shit me, it's what you want to do anyway! The whole point of you bringing me here was to kill me! So go on, do it! You especially, you're the one that really wants me dead. You value your life. There's nothing left! Don't touch me! You should have shot me when you had the chance. Sorry, this isn't necessary. What is? Private. Corporal! Stand back! Catch Stand this. Back. Corporal, put the gun down. Jim! Jim! Doing man, come back here. No. Yes, sir, sir. For God's sake, man, come on. With the fucking. Okay, Holt. Two things for moving. Yeah, nothing, sir. Heard of the Rostov military refinery, have you? Just follow me. Follow the orders. It's alright. No court for this should make a fine little film, shouldn't it? Certainly, sir. Well, brother comrade, they say that you fought at Stalingrad. Indeed I did, sir. Stand back, civilian. Whoa. Did you kill these people? No. Who are you? My name's Natasha. Natasha, we have to ask you some questions. What are you doing here? Don't get too close, Corporal. Well, our army's close. Now they're dead. Yes. And why are you alive? I don't know. Sir. 
Okay, Corporal, here's our first catch of the day. Good night, Sasha. I'm sorry to inform you. It has been decreed by the People's Health Commission that quarantine facilities are not nearby, that such persons are to be neutralised in whatever manner deemed appropriate to of spreading the contamination to nearby population centres. It's been a disaster here, and you may be affected. There's no way we can tell. So, the cafe. Are you near here? Sorry? You live near here? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. I do. Do you live here? Yes. Sergeant, you will take the corporal and the private to carry a reconnaissance and find the facility. You will record any pictorial evidence you find. Is that understood, Corporal? Yes, sir. Right. Fuck off then, comrades. Off you go. Well, follow me, man. <laughs> I'm nothing. You could be contaminated. Orders are for you to be. I feel fine. You know, maybe I stay with you. I could be for quite a while. <laughs> really? Uh, just what you have in mind. Why the fuck I have something to confess. I know this isn't the uh, proper time or that, but I'm um, going on. But um, about a week ago, I was out with the men. Well, just a couple of points. It's about your sister. Again. I'm sorry. I just happened. Say, say that again. Look, private, I understand. But I'm not upset and I, I don't know what happened. I, I'm sorry. Do you even know who I am? I'd take it back if I could. You knew my father back in Stalingrad. I believe the two of you went to Messi and I believe you were friends once. And I believe you took a lot of money that belonged to him. Yes. <laughs> you kill me. I can't get you to make a choice. I, I know. It's up to you. You kill me now, at least. I go for three punches. Fucking filming this! Fuck off! Continue walking, Charlie. Recharge. Corporal. Stay on. If you tell anyone about what's happened here. Sir, sir, nothing to report. Oh, is it private taking aim at pigeons in the sky? I see. Nothing to report. No, sir, we didn't see anything. Paths clear, sir. Oh, paths clear. Paths clear. Well, what incompetence is that supposed to mean? That means, sir, that if you would like to come this way, 
you will be safe and free. <laughs> Sergeant, come here, take a look at this boy. <laughs> really? Was that you giving me an order? Was it? No, sir. Merely a suggestion. No. Sir. Shut the fuck up! Stupid little idiot! Huh? You are, give me that. Would you like to meet Corporal? One day, sir. And Sergeant? Yes, sir. Perhaps even an officer? Yes, sir. Learn your lesson today. <laughs> And I walk up 20, 30 feet, and what do I see? But a column of smoke in the distance. Corporal, you have a pair of glasses, but even you should have been able to see that. It's funny. Sir, can you see that ahead of us? There's nothing there. Can you see them? No, there's nothing there. But they're all right. Look me! Is there anything already? Right? Can't see anything. It's stuck. Oh! Sorry, Matt. Stop! Sorry, Jack. Go after him, man. I don't know. We should, we should go now. Not doing anything. Come, on. Come with me. Come on. Anya, 
which puzzles me. Rostov. But I think it is a key. Come, Hanya. I'm going away. How do you think we're getting out? I don't know before. Through the mess. But you won't get out of there. Happened. What things? Terrible things. I can remember my eyes starting to burn. And then darkness. Who else was there? There was a man with a camera. There was a man with a camera. He would have seen everything. There must be a camera somewhere in the woods. You cannot be who you claim to be. It's just not possible. Why? Do it then. But to everybody else, you're crazy. Don't move. Why are you doing this? What do you want with me? Move, or I will kill this woman! Once more I've died, one more will not hurt! Get down. I will blow the fucking hell! You will not leave here alive, if alive! Don't say about that. Get up! happen there. A lot of bad things don't have to happen here. You do not need the gun. Put that gun down! Lord, your gun or she is dead! Put the gun down! I'm not joking. I will kill this woman. I will kill you. Put the gun down! Start happening again. <laughs> 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 
Strange to you. Get off of me! When they yeah. find out what's happening, everyone here is going to die. If you want to die, I can kill you now. If you want to live, help me. Please! What can I do to help you? Just help us get out of here. Let go of me. Can I trust you? Let go of me. I said, can I trust you? One, four. Drop the guns. Do as I say and I will help you. We have a way to reach. That way is clear. Nicola. You two are coming with us. I hope you realize if you don't follow, you will die. Trust me. We need to get out of this room. No second tent. Sergeant Security Door. Private standby to enter. My command. No. Get down, get down! Drop the weapon. Sergeant? What's going on, Captain? Tell him to stand down! What are you doing here? Don't know. Please tell him to stand down! Stand down, man. Against your will. And you? Well, in hand. I 
looking to help him. They tried to kill us. I have information I think you would want to know. Really? But I cannot say it here. Thank you. Do you have a strong guy? Yeah. Sometimes I just have these urges and they make me so hot. I need to have a reason. You really have to take a life that requires some reason to make it. So what's yours? Well, you talk to me. Talk to me. And who are they? You don't know.
शिरी सुखे Ten years ago. You said it's been ten years. What was ten years ago? I don't know anymore. I thought I did, but... Shut up! Listen! I don't fucking listen to you anymore! What I'm here! Everyone's fucking dying! What am I supposed to do? Private on. Listen to me! I don't want to shoot you. Don't fucking shoot you. Listen to me! You're going to get out of here. The more we do, that's it. Nothing more will be said of today, okay? What's gonna happen to us? Nothing if you stick with me. to understand, and you're not paid to feel, that I'm not paid to feel sympathetic for the circumstances arising in your parents' death. As a member of the KGB, your job is to serve them. Supposedly a member of the KGB, and they dress like a red Indian, huh? Huh? Yes, Minister. Huh? 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 This is not good, bro. This is not good. Shut up. Calm down. My dear, it's just getting in there. You should be grateful to be alive. Am I quite right? Fellows, huh? Well. I'm Communist Party member, Minister for Interior Security.
Doctor! Doctor, she is dead! It's much like that man. See to him now. I am a doctor of psychiatry, you fool! Do what you can! I am a pain. By who? You ordered the only thing you could that we have shot. Sir, we we'll talk that way to the minister, Sarge. Jahia Wright. I am yours. You think you're bigger than everyone, do you? No. You do? All the fucking time. Giving me orders, giving everyone else orders, like you're the man. Right. Calm down. Look in the room! Everyone's dead! Calm down! Fuck's sake! What do you think? Should I kill myself? Right, please, calm down. You want to live to die. You're right. I guess. I won't die, but. Well, you will. Gun. No. I said gun. For the people, private. Please look. Minister, really? Do we have to do this? There are enough people dead. Don't do it, please. Sir. What's your problem? Heaven and the floor is a greater promotion than the earth they know, right? You'll learn that in a moment. No! You're thinking of war. No, no! no. He isn't infected. Mindsets of yourself drifting aimlessly, desperate to find their original bodies. And if you take them to a KG research facility or further study, there you show this is treatment of the main treatment. One stop of the code name for the research project. You can't. It's too far. Me. Come on, snowman, out of the way, there's work to be done. No, no, no. Come on, fight now, I can't be bothered with this any longer. Oh, he's out of misery. One? He's out of the way. He was dying as it was. Well, he's a little more quiet now. I can sit here all day. Fire. I have a chair and a colossal call. What do you have? My mum. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Is that good? What will you do? Will you wander around the Soviet Union from town to town, infecting others with madness? Is that what you want? The hundreds, the thousands that could possibly die. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's good. Baby. Nikolai, come here. Come here. Ah. 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 Would you like to one day meet the corporal, would you? Ah. 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 Perhaps. Sergeant. One day. Even an officer? Wouldn't you? Oh. 
Do you want? This is dirty, Nikolai. Perhaps we should clean it. Uh, wash it down with some. Uh, mm -hmm. What? <laughs> There's an acidic formula we use in KGB. Take off his trousers and boots. I mean, I have every instruction for my officers to give you very pleasant surroundings, food and care. All you have to do is to cooperate. But you insist on following this lie that you do not know how to cooperate. <laughs> give him a kick to the left kidney. Captain will use acid. That's enough. Been through that enough. I don't see why I just don't speak. God. God. If you just cooperate, then it will be all over. You won't have to deal with any of this. God. You know as well as I do, Captain's an asshole. Maybe. But it's not our place to judge. Since when? We're not robots. We can do what we want. We can think what we want. It's alive, Nikolai. You have a guest. Nikolai. Nikolai, look at me. You're both dismissed. I'll call for you when I need you. Just leave yourself. Come on. Come on. We have come such a long way together. You're a good man and you're a good soldier. Look at me. Please. This has got to stop. What do you want? Just tell them anything. Please. I hate seeing you like this. Come on, do it for yourself. Do it for me. Six days and he's still said nothing. Not willing to cooperate. Mm. Well, 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 Nikolai. <laughs> ah, Natasha, here to join us. Apparently, my superiors don't want you. Face to disfigure it. Apparently, you're to be used in some material by the Ministry of Propaganda to illustrate as a warning to others. 
certain circles the consequences of betrayal and treason. So that's the good news. However, unfortunately, this fluid typically used for cleaning car engines and parts does have a certain effect on the nervous system, causes quite a lot of pain. Blindness in some cases, deafness in others. Come by my side, Natasha. We would like you to miss this. Against the wall, does not You had him. I must be wary not to get a drop on my hand. <laughs> it would be absolute agony. Well, Nikolai, cooperate! Tell me, Andy. Cooperate! Tell me what you want! You do know what we want! But draw your final. Well, Nikolai! Huh? Hmm? To the party. Stings, doesn't it? Fat curry. Him to think about this, huh? <laughs> Stupid fool. It really seems quite clear now. It's not all there, but I, I see things in my head. Loving times. I remember. I remember the sea. I remember your hair. It's just the little things. The little things are all that matters. Yes. Who's there? It's only an officer, Nikolai. Yeah. Passionate fool. No one's ever lived up to this. Kind of torture before. Have you got his eyesight back yet? No. The captain speaks of betrayal and treason. What did you do? I don't know. You must have done something. I wouldn't just bring you here for no reason. Well, it is the Communist Party and what you expect. It has nothing to do with it. He must have done something to end up here. Oh, it was at the woods. The woods? What happens in the woods? I don't know anymore. I was, I was there, and now apparently I wasn't. Nikolai, what happens in the woods? <laughs> Tell me. I died. You died? <laughs> He's clearly a man, right? there's no point. I wonder who's brought here. Look at him. It's a wreck. It's useless. There's absolutely no point in continuing this. No, there's not. No one deserves this. Could love liberate us all. The party is concerned. Your suspicions about this Nikolai caused many deaths. Wars cause many more deaths. Wars to protect our national security. I killed two dozen and the party is concerned. If anything, we must redouble our efforts to find out what Nikolai knows. 
First I want more information on his identity. He's still not been properly identified and now he's been in prison for about 12 days. We must exert our methods and ways far, far more than we would normally, normally do. We must find his family, we must find uh, relatives, children, younger siblings, anything you can find. Scare it about. Find someone. In particular, try and find his little sister. He always goes on about his little sister, especially when he's asleep. He talks about her, some kind of guilt he has for the rape she suffered many, many years ago. I want to find someone he loves so that we can bend his will to our own. If we find this little sister, bring her on the pretext of a visit that he will be freed and that she can take him away with a chemical toxin. Fast reaction time, five, ten minutes. Notify me of the time and I will bring her in myself. I'll bring her in myself to see him. And if he doesn't speak, She'll die in his arms. And if he doesn't speak then... Then perhaps... He doesn't know anything. We have finally identified the prisoner. His name, Nikolai Rostov.
sorry. I needed your help. I'm sorry I couldn't look after you. I needed protection. I'm sorry. I should never have went away. I should never have joined the army and I would never have been here. I can't change what's happened. No. Can you forever forgive me for any of this? You came into the room and you'd all gone. And he started coming towards me. And he put his hands on me. And I screamed out for some help, but no one was there. Why weren't you there? I'm, I'm sorry. That's all I can say. I'm sorry. He wouldn't go away. He was so close to me. He was this close to me. But I couldn't get out. I miss you so much. I miss you too. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. For everything. It's okay. <laughs>